Yep, there we go. Let's talk about sneakers. 2020. A shoe that I look forward to buying this year is probably going to be the Fear God ones. A pair that I don't look forward to paying any sort of resale for. From what I've heard, the quality of the materials, you know, it's good, but it's probably just not like up there. You know, it's not probably worth paying 350 for for retail. Not worth paying 900 something dollars for. Basically, we're paying for hype, you know what I'm saying? Because that's just resale. The resale market is insane, right? Which is fine because there are always going to be new color designs. In the world of sneakers, new color designs are put out and everyone has a chance to buy something. As you can see, I'm gonna put a picture. They are releasing, this is a leaked photo. Um, I'm not sure if it's for real, but I'm sure these, these are real samples. So eventually, eventually. So there's the all black that's coming out this month in April. But that's just the first bullet point on what I wanted to talk about. The second upcoming releases since I got into that um, June. June, the Air Jordan 1 Mochas. That's a sneaker that I want. It captured my eye. Now, a lot of people are saying it, it's similar to the Air Jordan Travis Scott 1s. And, you know, it does. It looks similar. But I guess I just like the simplistic version of, of it. And that's what the Mocha 1 is. So, it, it's brown is a neutral color. Brown can go with almost anything. Oh, talking about Air Jordan 1s, though. A pair that I anticipate is a black and yellow pair. Highs, not mids, because they came out with the mid version, but we want the highs. We want the highs, the, the black and yellow highs, so we want those. Under Armour. Under Armour, I feel like, is the underdog. Like, they're going to come up. Like I'm, I'm specifically talking about their sneakers. I've done reviews on two pairs of Under Armours, two pairs that I own, the Hover Sonics and then the Under Armour Forge 96s. So those two pairs... Um, again, price point, if, if it was possibly Nike or Adidas, they would be charging much more for those pairs. Like, well, for example, Hover, Hover technology is, is, it's up there. In my opinion, it's up there. Comfortability, it's up there. Now, I'm not sure about durability, but it's up there. Based on their price point, their quality, even their boxes, you know, Nike boxes, especially Adidas boxes, aren't really like the box is solid it's, it's you know it's just solid overall especially you know it's just that's just one thing you know small details the quality and the comfortability so hundred dollars for like hover sonics you get that hover technology which is mad comfortable and then with the hover um forge 96 is the the design the quality the materials it's all there but at a fraction of the price of other competitors so that's just my um my my take on under armor my first impression with under armor and there is a pair that i am looking forward to purchasing soon soon enough um so it's the um the hover summits or summit hovers i'm not really sure what, what they're called but these are them and those are what i want this is another leaked photo So I'm not sure what what they're gonna um, they're going to name these, but there was this guy who created this and Under Armour, I guess, slapped their logo on it, and it's like it's amazing knowing that their quality and their materials are on par, like on point, like like I I can just imagine when the sneaker releases, I'm gonna have to get it. I'm going to have to get it because I know it's gonna be up there. Like plus I really like the design. So I'm gonna have more information. On in, in the description anything that I missed out on but that's pretty much gonna be it this is just a discussion or a conversation or information sneaker information on my behalf again the year is long and there are many 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 more releases to come um, collaborations that haven't been in, um, introduced to the public yet so I'm gonna do these by parts I guess is gonna be I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it but until next time, I'm out. Deuce.